Everyone knows about heart attacks, but not too many people know about brain attacks. Brain attacks are also strokes. And I, Dr. Raj Shekhar Reddy, Principal Director of Neurology in Max Institute of Neurosciences, Max Hospital, Saket, I'm here today to tell you about strokes or brain attacks. Now, brain attacks are of two types. There can be a lack of blood supply to the brain, which is called an ischemic stroke. And this is about 80 to 85% of all strokes. And in about 15% people, we get leakage of blood in the brain, which is called a hemorrhagic stroke. Both can be equally devastating and both have certain risk factors which are common. And we must be aware of these risk factors because controlling these risk factors is the best way to avoid the stroke. The first risk factor is age. And unfortunately, this is a non-modifiable risk factor. As we get older, there is an increased tendency to have strokes. So we have to be more cautious in people as they get older and we must especially try to control all the risk factors in this group of people. Now, there are certain modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. Modifiable risk factors include, for instance, smoking. Smoking can be completely stopped. And this is a very important message that must be given to anybody who is at risk of stroke or who's had a stroke. There are certain non-modifiable or partially modifiable risk factors, for instance, diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, obesity, sedentary lifestyle. And we know that these risk factors, when they are there, even though you cannot completely change having them, you can control them to a point where the risk of strokes reduces considerably. So this is something that is an important message that must go to everyone who's had a stroke or who has a family member of uh, who's had a stroke or who is at risk of stroke. Now, I also want to tell you a little bit about the heart and the brain. We are very careful about monitoring the heart rhythm in patients who've had a stroke because sometimes an irregular heart rate, which is called an atrial fibrillation, can throw clots to the brain. So everyone who's had an event that resembles a stroke must have a long ECG for at least 24 hours, which is called a Holter, to detect this irregular rhythm. Now, if this irregular rhythm is there, the treatment to prevent strokes changes. This is a very important test and must be conducted in everyone who's had a stroke. So the message I want to give everybody here today is that strokes are a devastating medical condition and we must do everything in our power to prevent them from happening. Controlling these modifiable and partially modifiable risk factors is our best bet. Consult our doctors regularly as well as do everything to improve our lifestyles to prevent these strokes from happening. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to drop them in the comment box below. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.